Um, my name is Erin Chiponda and I play Simba. And my name is Meryl Ansa and I play Nala. In the Lion King. <laughs> and I just, I really want to know how it feels for you guys to step into such iconic characters. Um, I think it's for real. Like it's not thunking whatsoever. Um, they're, such, they're such huge characters and known throughout the whole world. So I think it's, yeah, it's like, there's this responsibility innately that you have, you know, walking into and stepping into it. Um, but what's so beautiful and great about the show and the people in the, sh in, in the show is that they, they make it so easy for us to kind of walk into that, walk into those roles and, and um, they really support us as well, which is which is, which is is amazing. But yeah, it's definitely so surreal. You know? mm, yeah, um, I agree. It's definitely not sunk in still and we're like, what, a month and a half in? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it is. It's a huge privilege um yeah. to be doing this and um yeah it's amazing that we've been trusted by with working on these roles so yeah it's amazing Absolutely. fabulous and you've got such a big cast as well what's it like working with such like a huge cast of people oh it's brilliant you know there's it was quite a big cast change this year actually i think there's 20 something <laughs> <laughs> over 20 people wow. yeah. which i think is like the biggest they've had in a, in a while so yeah. Um, it was really nice actually coming into rehearsals and having like, it felt like a, a whole new show almost. Um, yeah. So it's nice like coming in with all of this new energy and getting to know all these people from all over the world as well. Like the Lion King calls people from each and every continent, mm. maybe except Antarctica. Um, but yeah, we've got people from everywhere, which is, it makes it just so much more um, like a family vibe as well because everyone brings stuff from their cultures and we all learn from each other and things so yeah it was it's really really great um, yeah and i think we've got this incredible rapport as well with each other because you go through you know these really strenuous rehearsals you know um, every single day you know um morning to evening um so that closeness and stuff and you know go go through the highs and lows of rehearsals i think it's just you know, helps you kind of just build that bond as well, even even stronger, and even helps you kind of create that chemistry on stage. You know, um, so yeah, it's been it's been amazing, man. and the cast are just so talented mm. and so, oh, so good, so so good. So yeah, it's great. Does that does that lead to a lot of backstage shenanigans that go on? Oh, there's a couple of things that I don't know whether <laughs> we're allowed to say, <laughs> but yeah, no, there's always something happening every single day. Always something. Yeah, Make jokes on jokes. jokes. <laughs> sure, Some of these people should be comedians. <laughs> no, no, for real. <laughs> but it keeps us so excited, you know, it keeps us so questioning yourselves, great. We all do it. We all have craziness backstage. I get it. I do it every day, too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. So what's been the most challenging part for you guys stepping into Simba and Nala? I think for me, it's probably physically. Mm. Um, you know, you have to be really fit doing this, um, you know, as any performer, you know, doing shows eight times a week is hard, but um, these roles are quite physical and quite physically tough. So to be able to like keep up our stamina, you know, we really have to take care of our bodies. So that's something that I'm still trying to get to grips with. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but I'll say the same. I'd say, you know, me and Mo had um, some training just before we started the show. Yeah, um, yeah. And if, if you saw me, if you saw me in, in that room, I was, Oh, it's not okay. Like, I it's just, hard. Yeah, it's so hard. I really contemplated my life at one point. I was like, wow, this is it. I chose to do this. Honestly, you know? after the first half hour, you're already like drowning in the sweat. No, so to speak. Out of breath. Um, it's great, and obviously that's helped us. You know, it's really um, strengthened us um, uh, physically and mentally. Actually, it's really helped. You know. Um, um, you know, give us that kind of physical ability to do the show and, and you know, help us to be a lot more mobile as well. Uh, especially with the, you know, the leaps and the jumps and, and you know, what they ask us to do on stage. Yeah, so that, but that was, yeah, that was insane. That was insane. And it's still insane now, because, you know, they're still training, but it's great. It's great. I can imagine the kind of, the costumes can be quite heavy on top of your head, can't they? Yeah. It's a bit crazy. You know what, you, you, you do get used to it. Like, it, it, it starts to become a part of you a little bit. Mm, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I'd say so. Actually, yeah. thankfully, my the one I wear as Nala is actually quite light, so I feel like I've probably <laughs> got off like the easiest with it. It wasn't last video, right? That is crazy. Um, and I always get scared that's gonna like fall off, you know, um, some, sometimes. 
but you know what no they're great like you know and like how they've created the mask and for you to fit your head and yeah you know, just to you know um it's literally like molded onto the shape of your skull and hair yeah. crazy it, it makes it kind of easier to engulf yourself in the character a lot, a lot. um it, it, you know um smoothly you know i mean you kind of feel like the character as soon as you kind of put on the, on the mask um but yeah you do kind of get used to it at the very beginning the the weight of mask is a bit tricky but you get used to it for sure also like sometimes i forget how big it is <laughs> like i'll be walking down i'm like oh yeah okay. <laughs> Yeah, to be careful about that. I mean, we lost as well, like during the show sometimes. Yeah, but, yeah. But, uh, yeah, I can relate to that one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think this one, this one's probably more of a question for you, Meryl. But I recently saw a TikTok about a lady that plays Sarabi in the production. Do you have quite a similar track to the Sarabi character in the sense of changing characters through different scenes, or is it quite Nala? No, yeah, it's literally just Nala. So I, um, in the first act of the show, I'm, I'm literally just getting ready, <laughs> which is yeah, it's quite nice. Um, so yeah, we go up to um, hair and makeup, um, maybe about 10, 15 minutes into the show, and then they're doing all that, and then you get the mask on and the wig on, and then the costumes. So it's actually quite a long process, a long getting ready process, but yeah. So thankfully I just have like that one track, but yeah, for the Sarabis, they're kind of, they're doing a little bit of everything, you know, they have the Sarabi track and then they're, you know, they're a hyena or they're, you know, bird lady or that, yeah, doing different things, so yeah. And what about for you, Andrew? Is yours kind of just, is it a long process to get into Simba? Um, kind, it's not too long. Um, the makeup can sometimes vary, um, depending on like the demands of the show and what we need that day, but um, it's not too long. But I kind of, like you know, said so earlier on, a cameo towards the very end of act one, um, which is which is also very nice because it, you know, you just spring on stage, so. <laughs> you, just, you just spring on stage um, and you, know, you have to be completely alive, you know, you know, you know, you know. Uh, as soon as you just kind of like hit the stage and stuff. So it helps me kind of figure out where I'm at, you know, physically and mentally to kind of jump into the next um, uh, the next act. Um, and then, yeah, I've got acts here to kind of like, you know, do my thing and tell the story. Fab. Can you talk to us any, any little bits about the audition process that you guys went through? Do you know what? Actually, so the first time I auditioned for the show in 2019, 2018, to go into 2019. Um, I remember thinking that was such a long audition process. There were just so many rounds and you're kind of mostly doing the same thing. But I think a bit like once you've done it so many times that like you start to like doubt yourself. <laughs> it becomes like a psychological thing, you know, like, okay, maybe I should change the way I say this word. Like maybe that will make it be better. Like just like silly things, but like actually if you just go in and just keep doing what you're doing like they just want to make sure that it's consistent um so i think that's one thing that i learned from it from the last time um but yeah this time around it was actually quite i felt a lot more relaxed and at ease i think because obviously for both of us we've done the show before so it was nice having that familiarity with the material and with the team as well like they just were so wanting us to do well so i think that made it easier going into it and like not having the usual like pre-audition freak out like oh my gosh they're gonna like me what they're gonna think um so yeah i think it, that was then it made it easier for me to just go in do my best and just hope that that was enough and yeah thank you yeah. you know what's funny as well um so the very first time i auditioned for the show was for the for a dancer track um and i got to like <clears throat> i think there was like probably eight and nine rounds and i think i got to like the fifth round um but you know just some moves that they were asking me to do i just it wasn't happening like it just wasn't it just wasn't happening at all um and so then so then you know we cut that and then um i saw online you know the audition for simba so i was like oh my god i need to do that i need to you know my story is not yeah, it's not ended do you know what i mean there's, there's still there's still hope um and then i think i had i must have had like again eight rounds eight to ten rounds of like just figuring out the, the you know the tracks. I didn't actually know I was going in, you know, for a swing track at first. I just thought I was doing Simba, you know. what I mean, and then when I when I book, I booked the job, my agent came to me and was like, "So they want you for Simba?" And I was like, "Oh, cool, great. That's that's exciting." But they also need to you know, do swing, and I was like, "What? What is a swing? Do you know what I mean?" They're like, they want you to, they want you to learn thirteen tracks. I said, "Okay, great. <laughs> All right, cool." Um, but then obviously, you know, you know, you do it and like it's like probably like the best experience I've ever had. I'm so grateful 
to have done that. And I think that's actually kind of helped me get to where I'm at right now. So I, even doing the process now and auditioning, you know, because you have, you have so much knowledge of the story and, 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 and what the show wants and needs, it's really easy to kind of like be in a space and try and convey the message that you want to convey and, and the story that you want to tell. So yeah, that was kind of my audition process. Was it quite easy for you guys to be able to step back into the show after leaving it and coming back? Weirdly, not as easy as I thought it would be. Like I found a lot of like the movements like just so out of body. Like I felt so, for like the first couple of weeks, I just kept saying, I feel so silly. <laughs> and obviously it took our, um, our resident director, Michael, to like oh, keep on going through it. Like, no guys, you're doing great. Like, I think we really needed that reassurance. No, we did. No, we did. Yeah. yeah, that was, yeah, it's same, same. But you know what's nice as well? Like, you know, you, you're you really allowed to fail and, and, mm. and make mistakes in that space, in that room. Yeah. And and just try out things. It's almost that encouraged. Actually. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, actually, that's that's very, very true. Um, but yeah, really, it, it, was, it wasn't it was as easy as I thought it would be. You know what I mean? But yeah, eventually you kind of get it and you're like, okay, cool. It's not makes sense, you know? And one more from me. What point of the show for you guys is the most fun. Ooh, it's fun. the most fun. Apart from the show as a whole, obviously, because it looks like so much on stage. Why no, is it actually is? It's very much like inspiration on the show. <laughs> uh, do you know what? So I'm going to go for confrontation, big old fight scene Ooh. at the end when it's the lion oh, versus yeah. the hyenas. Oh, yeah. There's so much going on. Yeah. Like, it's crazy. Like, if you look at like a different group of people, like everyone else is doing something absolutely crazy. Like, each moment is spectacular. So, yeah, watching that and doing it, is, it's really fun. Yeah, it's yeah. a nice bit for me. I'll say doing, um, I, I'll say that, yes, absolutely. And also doing the reprise, there's a section where, you know, I finally figure out and realize, okay, this is what I'm supposed to be. And then I, you know, I'm, I'm doing my movements and stuff, and then I'm running through, you know, the cast and stuff, and just seeing everyone's face so lit up and so vibrant, really just, it just pours into me, like it just speaks so much life into me, and I'm able to kind of like finally sing this song with so much, you know, um, with just a lot of zealous and like and and and. and just like love and, and yeah it, that for me is just like a perfect point um in the show um because it, it feels like everyone's kind of got together you know to just just to praise you know and, and just enjoy it and have fun so yeah i enjoy that bit as well not even on stage i usually like run around in the wings and i'm like dancing with them <laughs> <laughs> and obviously you've got quite a talented cast of younger people as well that play the young versions of yourselves do you get yeah. to kind of watch them do their scenes? Like you got like the Kuna Matata, I just can't wait to be king, the proper classic songs from the film. Do you get yeah. to watch them and kind of feel that joy as well? Yeah, I honestly, I feel like a sense of pride watching them. I feel yeah. like, <laughs> yeah, because it's like the younger version of us. It's, it's really amazing seeing them doing it. And also like, yeah, they're so young. Like some of them are like, 9, 10, 11, and I'm like, I could not have done that at that age. Like, honestly, like the, the amount of confidence they have and like the stage presence and the it's skill. Just really cool. it's, 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 it's so uh, cool. Yeah. They're much cooler than me, Jesus. It's so cool. Well, thank you very much for joining us this afternoon. It's been absolutely fabulous. I'm going to stop so now. Thank you. Yeah.